Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'd like to show you how you can have a dynamically filtered butterfly chart like this one in just a few steps. Let's start with our data. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of people their sexes and their ages and the product that they use. We're going to make two pivot tables, one pivot table for the females and one pivot table for the males. So click anywhere on the data, go to the insert tab at the top of the screen and choose pivot table. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a brand new worksheet and click okay. And this will be our first one. And while I'm here, let's go to the view tab and turn off the grid line so that we have a nice simple background. And what we're going to do here is we're going to drop in any field at all. I'm going to grab product into the values box that counts up the number of people that we're talking about. So 5,505 people use our products. And what I would like to do is know this information by age. So I'll take the age and put it into the rows box. But as you can see, every age is now denoted here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So what we do is we come over here to this strip on the left and right clicking on the strip on the left, we go with grouping the information. And we tell it, okay, uh, the ages start at 10, they end at 88, and they go by tens. And you can decide how you want this structured. It's entirely up to you. I'll click okay here. And you can see there people from 10 to 19 all the way up to 80 through 89 are users of our product. But again, we want to know this by sex as well. So let's go ahead and grab the sex option and put it into the filters box. And now for this pivot table, I'd like to know all the female users of our product. So I click OK, and there you can see 2,748 users broken down by age that are all female users. Let's go back to the user data and repeat the exact same thing, but this time for male users. We go to the insert tab at the top of the screen, click on pivot table, and this time around I'll put it on the same sheet, the existing worksheet that's here. Click on location, and in sheet two, I can simply click somewhere down here and click OK. Again, just drag the product entry into the values box. So we can see 5,505 users broken down by age. Click and drag age into the rows box. There we see the breakdown by age and we want it filtered by the sex of the user. So we click on sex and we drag it into the filters box and let go. And this side is going to be the male side and click OK. So now we have two different groups of people, but we'd like to see them combined together uh, sort of lightly, and that is the butterfly look. So we want to pick one of the two tables. I'll go to the female table first, go to the analyze tab at the top of the screen, and click on to pivot chart. And here we want to do a bar chart. So a bar chart is one half of a butterfly chart. We click on the bar chart, we click OK. And the one problem I see here is that the ages are in reverse order from 80 down to 10 instead of 10 down to 80. So we click on the ages, hit control one on the keyboard to format those entries and choose to put the categories into reverse order. Now we're doing pretty well. We can take the total off altogether. We can take the numbers off. We can take this off. We can take the ages off. And using the Analyze tab at the top of the screen, we can deselect the Field Buttons button and get it down to just this simple version of the chart. If we want to go a step further than this, we can go uh, and actually colorize the chart. So, of course, you know, if this is female users, most people would go with a... Uh, a pink or a purple or some other type of color that they see as being gendered. I'm not going to go into the politics of that. Let's just go ahead and pick something like purple there. Great. And then over here on the right, uh, we have the gap width. This is what keeps the bars so thin. If I decrease the gap width down to about 50%, you can see that the bars are much fatter now. And basically, I've got the right side of my butterfly. 
So we're going to repeat this. Go to the mail side of the table, go to analyze, and add a pivot chart. Of course, again, this is a bar chart, and click OK. And just as before, we click on to the ages down the left hand side, and using the chart icon right here, we tell it that under the axis options, we should put the categories into reversed order. But of course, there's one other problem to this, and it's going the same direction as the previous bar chart is. So here, we click on to these numbers, and over here on the right hand side, you can see values in reverse order. Click that checkbox, and now it flips it over. And again, we can take all of this stuff off, just clicking on the delete key on the keyboard to get rid of extraneous items and using the analyze tab to turn off the field buttons. And of course here we have a very similar thing, but the bars are not fat enough. We click on the bars and we tell the gap width to be 50% so that it matches. And lastly, let's make sure that these are scaled roughly the same way. If we click on to the chart on the right hand side, we can see on the format tab that our current height is 3 inches, our current width is 3.29. Let's go with a width of 3 inches as well. And then over here on the left, we want the same thing, a height of 3 and a width of 3. Now we can put them back to back, and actually we could also take off the framing, right? We can say no fill on the chart, no background color on the chart, no border on the chart, no grid lines. So you can use the delete key to get rid of the grid lines. Again, on the left hand side chart of the chart, uh, no fill, no lines, no grid lines, and uh, they look very similar now. And so here we can say, oh, we want everybody who's uh, less than 19. We want everybody from 20 to 29. We want everybody from 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, 60 to 69, 70 to 79, and 80 to 89. Now let's go ahead and blow that up a little bit, make the font size a bit bigger so that it looks pretty good and center it. And then we could just take these bar charts and sort of line them up so that the ages and the bars are aligned with one another. Okay, so let's take a look at the height again here. This is a height of three and a half inches. Here on the left, we can go with a height of three and a half inches. Perfect. And we can choose to line these two things against one another using the format tab and aligning the tops. Not bad, right? So, so far so good. We have a butterfly chart representing the different ages of people in our user base. Let's go up here to the top of the screen. Let's make a nice little, um, nice little title up here, something like users by age range. And we'll say that this is male and female users. And we can bold this, make it a bit bigger. And we can also take the word male and make it the same shade of blue. And take the word female and make it the same shade of purple. Not bad. But here's the last stage in the process. If you look back at the user data, you'll see that the user data is broken down by product as well. Group Fire, Backstage, and Vinyl are the three products we're talking about. And I'd love to be able to specify which product I'm discussing in this as well. So let's go back here, click onto one of the two pivot tables, and on the Analyze tab at the top of the screen, insert a slicer. We can insert that slicer for which product we're talking about and click OK. Before you move forward, take a second here and make this connected to the other pivot table as well. Because whenever you add a, a slicer to a pivot table, it is only connected to the pivot table that you are selected on. So I click on to report connections up here at the top, connect it to the other 
pivot table and click OK. And now I can make this a three column slicer. I can make this wider. I can make this shorter. And for that matter, I can come up here to the top of the screen to my slicer settings and I can do things like take the header off, thereby making this a rather nice interaction. So here, especially if we start moving things over a little bit, there we go. We can scroll over so it's just white space. And here we can say, show me all the backstage users, show me all the group fire users, or show me all the vinyl users. And it's actually very easy for people to see that group fire users tend to go young, vinyl users tend to be in the 30 to 50 age range, and backstage users tend to be in the 50 to 90 age range.